Hi, I'm Corey Perry, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, and this is Bridging the Gap, a series of digital art engagements. In this segment, we will be looking at Portrait of a Florentine Nobleman by Kehinde Wiley. There will be prompts throughout this interactive tour, so it will be helpful to have a pencil and paper handy. Please feel free to pause the video at any time to collect what you need. Before we get started discussing the work of art, let's take a few moments to look closely. Start by letting your gaze wander around the artwork, taking notice of some of the details, such as the colors the artist is using and objects you recognize in the painting. What are some of the first things you see? Please, pause the video and give yourself a few moments to look. On your paper, write down a few things. Initially, you'll see a woman in a striped purple and white dress, standing tall and confidently posed. The bright floral background illuminates the figure and pushes her to the forefront. Upon closer analysis, you may notice the wallpaper-like background emerges off the wall and embraces her. When Kehinde Wiley creates works of art, he makes intentional decisions. Everything about this art object took the artist countless hours of research, writing, and labor. Take note of the little details in the work. Some details you may have noticed could be the roses, tattoos, manicured nails, or maybe even the colors on the wallpaper print. What details did you notice? Please pause the video and write down some of your thoughts. All right, so everything you've noticed about this piece is attributed to a story or a narrative. The artist, Kehinde Wiley, paints portraits of people of color to tell a story. More specifically, he gives us a narrative that challenges art history to include more people of color who have long been erased from Western art. This particular piece comes from his body of work known as St. Louis. To make the works of art in this series, Kehinde Wiley went to the St. Louis Art Museum and found white Western artworks and replaced the figures with people from the Ferguson, Missouri community and surrounding areas. In this portrait, Wiley captures the self-expression of Shante Haynes, a local resident of the Ferguson, St. Louis area. What details is the artist using in this painting to show us her individuality? Please pause the video to give yourself some time to write. So, Ferguson, Missouri was an intentionally chosen location by Kehinde Wiley because of the 2014 death of Michael Brown and the national conversation around people of color and police violence. Creating this painting and the St. Louis series of artworks is his way of empowering a community and celebrating the life of Michael Brown. He intends for her to be shown as self-expressive because self-expression is important to an individual's identity and ultimately their mental health. Please take this time to reflect and write down what you remember seeing in the portrait. Thank you for watching. This has been Bridging the Gap from Crystal Bridges.